Hi everybody, welcome back. My name is Claire. I'm going to do a first today. Um, I really quite liking spirals. I really like a square canvas with a spiral design. So I've decided instead of doing a Dutch pour like this, I've mixed thicker paints. Um, I'm going to do a straight pour, but I'm going to, as I pour it in the center of the canvas, I'm going to uh, rotate the canvas round on my cake turntable. So it will create a spiral just by doing a single straight pour. Um, it's going to be a bit tricky pouring and spinning the, the cake turntable at the same time, but I'm going to try it, see what happens. Um, so let me show you the colours I've chosen. So this is what I'm going to use. So I've got some Amsterdam white. I've got four Pebio Studio acrylics colours, orange, um, iridescent red, blue, green, blue, and the green, yellow. I just don't have the, the container because it was the last one. Um, and then some Montmartre silver. I've not used Montmartre silver before, so um, I use the gold all the time, but not the silver. So I'm going to try that. And then some Royal Essentials Royal and Lang Nickel Dark Ultramarine Blue. They're all mixed with PVA glue and water. And I'll put the recipe in the description of this video. So if you click on the video title, it brings up a description below and all the information will be there. I'm just trying to show you the consistency. So it's quite thick, it's quite creamy, but it just pours beautifully. I'm going to be really brave and put really contrasting colours next to each other. So red and green. Obviously, if they mix, I'm going to get brown. So I'm going to be brave. So orange, um, the iridescent blue, red, green, and then the dark blue. I do have my silver and my white. So I think what I will do is just periodically just put a little bit of these these two colors in between just to separate a little bit um, I'm not brave enough just to put them right next to each other I'm going to start with a little bit of white just a tiny bit in the bottom of the cup and then to layer this cup I'm just literally pouring the paint down the side if you pour it down the side it just tends to sit really nicely on top of the colour below. So if you pour from really high, you've got much more chance of them muddying. Let's go for a little bit of silver in there. So pouring low and pouring at an angle down the side just reduces the chance of um, the mixing and muddying. They'll muddy as they come out the cup, that's, that's fine. And obviously they'll muddy on the canvas, that's fine. I've got here my cake turntable. Um, I've covered it in a little bit of um, polythene. Um, incidentally, that was just the polythene that came off the canvas so that I'm not wasting it, I'm using it. I've put push pins in the back and I've checked that the canvas is level on a level surface. And then I'm just gonna place that right in the center of the turntable. Just check that it spins round fine, it does. I'm going to put down um, a base. I'm just going to put down a just a puddle of um, the silver, I think. Right, the trick of this is going to be to try and keep my right hand still. So I'm going to pour into what I think is the center, but try and keep this hand really still and then just very slowly turn this. I don't even know which way I will turn it. I think I will turn it that way. That way seems most uh, natural and comfortable. Um, so, and I'm going to try and do it quite slowly.
Wow. That centre is beautiful. So you've got all the fingerlings, but obviously they're just in a spiral. Now, I have no idea if I'm going to be able to retain this circle. Um, I think I did quite a good job of pouring in the centre because I've got quite an even gap around the edge. So I'm happy with that. Let's put some more flow extends around. In fact, let me just show you, see if I can get this closer so you can see the centre. Try and do it slowly. So hopefully, I'm hoping that's going to focus. So pretty. Right. Let's go for some flow extender. There's quite a lot of thick paint in this puddle, so I guess I don't want to put too much flow extender down. So I think I'll do a just a ring like that and then spread that out. So I'm going to try and spin it. I think it's a bit too thick for this to really work. So it is working. It, no, it is. Right, I'm just going to quickly get my... Um, oh, it is working. Brilliant. I'm going to get my mats down on the floor because I think paint might go everywhere. I just keep yoga mats underneath my um, work table here. So I just can literally just quickly pull them out just to protect my floor. Right, this is interesting because, can you see, it's becoming more of a square. And I think that's because it's reached the edges and it's pulling over nicely here, but the corners it hasn't reached. So I think I'm going to stop spinning and I think I'm actually going to do some tilting because I want to lose some of this paint. I think as long as I, if I can try and tilt it round in a circle, I'm hoping... I can retain the roundness. So as I'm stretching that, what I'm really just doing is looking at this orange spiral and trying to keep that as round as possible. So what I've managed to do is keep that round, but actually I've got this really irregular curvy circle around, which I love. And I've managed to keep the four corners all looking a little bit different. I need to just add a little bit more paint on there. Um, but you've got such an unusual design with four slightly different looking corners, which I'm really, really liking. Um, 
So a few things, love the composition. I love the swirl in the center. I love the four slightly odd corners and I love the detail. Um, if I show you up close, the ripples and the effects of this are just beautiful. It looks like sand. Um, you know when the sea, the sea comes up over the sand and then the sea goes out and it just leaves this sort of rippled wet sand effect. I think it just reminds me of that. Um, and then maybe with a whirlpool in the middle. But I think there's a bit of lava in there, isn't there? It's like a, a water whirlpool, but maybe maybe swirling into some lava, the orange lava. Um, the details are beautiful. Um, I think that blue must have some transparency because the whole painting is kind of blue. But um, you can see all the other wonderful colours underneath. The white is a little bit lost um, and I, so I think it's going to dry quite dark. Um, so maybe I should have added a little bit more white. Um, the silver, adding silver often gives this um, sort of, um, oh, I don't know what you call it. Um, silver can make it look quite pastel and quite muted. It sort of blends with the colours. Uh, but look at that centre, the details, it's absolutely fascinating. So really happy. So I'll be back when it's dry. So it's now dry. It is such an interesting painting. Um, I am a little bit disappointed with the colours because I put such nice bright colours in and they've just all got lost. So blue has totally overridden it. But there is so much detail and so many really pretty features to this painting. So if I show you the centre first of all, it, it definitely looks like fire or lava underneath water I think um, the the just the little effects the little cell they're not cells I don't know what they are they, I guess they're fingerlings but they've been sort of cut off because it's been a spiral they just look so pretty so many details um, and then the color gets a bit paler towards the edge and you see a few more of the lines so the details are really focused in the center I love the little odd corners so you've just got the little stripes on the edge of the corners um, with different colours and I just think that works really well. It's definitely really watery. You've got that transparency of the blue and all the colours showing through. Um, so it's really, really unusual. As I said, I'm disappointed with the end result in terms of the colours, but the actual effects and the design, I love. Absolutely love it. Composition, I love. You've got the spiral in the centre and then the irregular border around the edge. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this piece. Um, thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.